we led the uh, Series B round for Apamoro, uh, which is a kind of a signaling of our um, of how much we we love what Apamoro does and the platform and the team and the product. Uh, and so we're really excited. We're very early on. We only announced it in December, but we're working very closely together. Our first release coming out is really start of this sort of closed loop integration where you would take Apamoro, you'd put it into a bank, you'd identify those you know, top five interventions that are really going to transform the business, have high ROI, you have high confidence because you have the data behind it. And then you can actually just programmatically feed those into our automation solution. And we have a, uh, an end-to-end -end life cycle for automation. It starts with identifying what automations should I do. And so that all feeds in, but not just with some high-level parameters, but with all the metadata around it. So it knows the process ID, it knows the background of why we identified those interventions and the expected ROI. So now you go through the whole automation cycle, we automate that process. What do we have? We have a tagged and classified process that we can now monitor and feed data back programmatically into Apramore. So now we can see if we did really get that ROI, we can mm -hmm. test those assumptions. And that feeds the model, which makes it smarter and allows us to identify the next set of interventions that, that we think are going to be worthwhile. And this, for, for me, is really the articulation of what I shared before, which is right now, automation, all these platforms, high fragmentation. And in the gap between all these systems is all that value that we know is there to be unlocked. And we believe process mining coming together with our automation platform will start to close one of those key silos between figuring out what I need to do doing it, and then figuring out if I did it. So, so we're really, yeah, we're really excited. For me, process mining is just the next eventual stage in the maturation of the digitization of our economy. Right? We spent the first 20 years going and installing all the software, st installing the software for the sales team to run in and for the, all these processes to run on and for the service teams to use and for the supply chain team to use. And we've been building those things. And it's actually not sim uns dissimilar to what uh, has happened in customer data. We just realized, oh my god, we have so much signal. Hmm. We have so much data, so many event logs, so many transactions being thrown off from all this software. We no longer have to guess yep. what's, what's, what's slowing us down. We no longer have to guess where we're non-compliant. We no longer have to guess where yeah. we're inefficient. We no, no longer need to guess where the customer is getting stuck. It's all there, it's all in the digital record, record, the digital footprint. So what's exciting for us at Salesforce and why we partner with Apramore is it just feels so natural. It just feels like every business is gonna have to run in this way to start to pull together all the signal from across their business, start to make sense of it, and build a continuous improvement model on top of that data. We at MuleSoft exist to talk to a lot of really complex systems in really gnarly scenarios, stuff that's on-prem, stuff that's <coughs> behind a very clear firewall, scattered all over your enterprise architecture, homegrown data sources. You know, we've always existed to get into those systems and to help people to orchestrate some of these mm -hmm. core processes that you were referring to. Um, and so the beauty is for any existing customer, they've already got all of that connectivity. And so we've built an Apramore connector. Uh, and so you can just use our data orchestration tools to say, OK, these five systems, transform the data this way and push it into Apramore. So one of our hopes, at least for shared customers, and we have plenty of them already, uh, is that we will reduce that data engineering time significantly. Because yep. that, I mean, you know that in process mining, that's been the greatest complaint, has been it's amazing once you do the many month project <laughs> Once to got, get the lock. data into where it needs yeah. to go. And so we, we think we can accelerate that significantly with MuleSoft. I will say that uh, for the customers that I've spoken to that are Apramore customers, and we, you know, we went through the whole market and saw all the competition before we chose to you know, invest with Apramore, <clears throat> um, we really, really believe that at least part of the problem, so there's Data engineering, pure play, like ETL, ELT, get the data where it needs to be. And then there's what do you do with it when the data's in there? And typically with process mining tools, that's also been a complex concern. And then there's what do I do with the data on the other side? There's just three layers of complexity. And uh, so I've shared a little bit of how we think we can help. You know, we have a lot of customers on MuleSoft 
who have already built a lot of this uh, plumbing. So for them, very fast time to value, try to get the data into Apremore more quickly. What really we loved about Apremore is they have been very focused on a no-code approach to the analysis, uh, to, the, to the analytics, to the simulation. It's all done declaratively through the UI. What's exciting for us at Salesforce and why we partner with Apremore is it just feels so natural. It just feels like every business is going to have to run in this way to start to pull together all the signal from across their business, start to make sense of it, and build a continuous improvement model on top of that data. These things used to be project-based, time-based, and now this is a persistent process intelligence engine that really tells you the telemetry of the business at any point in time and the mind boggles of what we can do with it in the future um, to really run our organization.